Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Matthew Harris here. I'm glad you're with me. A while back you saw that we made this 15 pound bulldog air hammer. And what could be better in the shop than a new power hammer? Check this out. This is a new 35 pound hammer. Very similar to that one. Longer stroke, some other really cool features that I'm going to show you. But what could be better than a new power hammer in the shop? Well, maybe two new power hammers in the shop. That's right. I got super excited after seeing these hammers run and some of the features that I'm getting ready to show you that they can do that we made a match twin pair of these. These are both 35 pound, uh, what is called commonly a utility air hammer, meaning it doesn't make its own hair. It runs off of an air compressor. Um, but I'm gonna show you some of the key features that this machine does. It's a phenomenal air hammer. So psyched to um, have these in the shop. Check this out. Okay, so check it out. Jared and I were talking about this today, but this power hammer is powered up right now. It has air to it. It's ready to run and it's completely silent, which is a nice break from the nasals. I love those machines, but when they are running, they're very loud. This machine, totally ready to go, dead quiet. And um, I'm gonna walk you through some of the features. Now, this machine obviously will, it'll hit like a regular power hammer, meaning, you know, it'll, it'll stroke up and down um, like any other hammer would. Um, you can easily adjust the stroke on this hammer. That was long. to a nice short stroke. But the really cool thing that I'm so psyched about with this hammer is it has a single blow mode, which makes it almost like some old fashioned steam hammers. I'm getting ready to switch that over to uh, steam mode right now. That's just a, a quick, easy flip of uh, a, a switch and a valve. So it parks in the upright position. It's ready to do a single blow. I'll hit it once and you can see it comes down, does that blow. What's nice though, is I can control the intensity of that blow. See how much softer that one was. And I can also control the retract speed on it as well. You saw that ram go up really slow. That was just a switch of a valve that enables me to do that. I'll go back to full power one quick blow. So um, really nice that this machine uh, is able to switch back and forth between those two modes. And that was the main reason why we made these two hammers is for years I have wanted to own a treadle hammer in the shop, which is, you know, uh, an, an awkward uh, foot powered machine you see in a lot of, in a lot of shops, but, um, I've really been wanting to make an, an air hammer that kind of acted like a treadle hammer. And um, this machine will do exactly that, you know, um, with a single blow feature. And being able to adjust the intensity, see how soft that is? Like that's hitting so soft. I'll go medium power. Yeah, and uh, so controllable, so nice to uh, to have that feature. And, you know, obviously it acts like a regular hammer. But um, this machine will really be great for doing a lot of like chiseling work. Uh, matter of fact, we have a job that we're working on right now. I'll grab this leaf. Um, this is a leaf sample from an Art Deco style table that we're doing. I made this curved chisel up and I was able earlier today to um, to make one of these up very simply and quickly. Matter of fact, let's um, fire up the induction and we'll go ahead and knock out one of these leaves real quick and um, show you this machine in, proce in progress um, and some of the cool things it can do. All right, now to begin with, I'm going to heat up this leaf blank, but here's a cool little trick. All I've done to make this leaf brank is I've taken a piece of bar stock and I've sheared it on an angle 
to make this almost little diamond like piece and then I nipped off the ends to make it not too sharp. But I'm gonna take this diamond, forge it into a leaf shape, hammer it out, you'll see what we do. But uh, is, this is a real cool way of making a quick uh, leaf blank. Uh, let me turn on the induction and we'll get this heated up. Crazy how fast that goes. All right, let's go over to the hammer. All right, now I have the machine in uh, single blow mode and I'm going to turn the air back a little bit to make a softer blow. Kind of nice to not have it running full steam and just take some single blows. I just rounded that out. Now I'm going to go to the anvil and forge um, a quick little bevel. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do the chisel work on the inside real quick. Show you how that's done before this gets too wide. So I've got this heated up and this chisel is just a simple curved chisel. And I've just got it started there with the uh, the two lines. And now I'm going to heat it up again and finish chiseling. You can see how nice and controllable, though, this hammer is for this this style of work. I had one little double hit, but you can see I've quickly chiseled in two lines. Now I'm going to go to the anvil and hammer the rest of the leaf shape out. This is a uh, Art Deco style leaf. It's a copy of a, a original leaf that we're replicating. Not my exact design, but um, cool nonetheless. <laughs> Yeah, I just chased those lines out a little bit, even cold, well, warm, and uh, quickly did work on those. All right, I'll bring the camera over and show you, but that leaf is all done. It's got some nice, simple chisel work that we were able to use the hammer on. We have about 50 of these leaves to do. Um, I also need to go back, heat this, and cup it slightly. But other than that, and some little grinding touch-up, this leaf is pretty much done. Um, but you can see how amazing this hammer is to do that type of chisel work and set hammer work and treadle hammer work.
Well, this video is going to be pretty short and sweet today as we just celebrate having these new hammers in the shop. Huge shout out to my guys, uh, Jared, Chase, and Alan for all the work that they've put in on these. Drew even worked a little bit on them. Um, but man, we've been working on these realistically for over two years. Um, that's how much time, planning, and work has gone in them. Originally, um, I think Alan started welding up the mainframe. Chase did some welding on the mainframe. Just so much. Jared machined a ton of parts on these things. Hey, I also have to say a huge thanks to my friend Dave Hammer, who came up with the plans for these hammers. They are called the Bulldog Air Hammers. You can buy those plans on Etsy. They are worth every penny. I've bought them and um, they inspired these builds. I have to say I've made a ton of deviations from his plans, including um, these hammers have a much deeper working area on the, the throat of them um, and a bunch of other small changes that I made. But in the essence, all the credit for the design and the plans for these hammers comes from the Bulldog Air Hammer um, that he came up with those plans. Worth every penny. Cannot recommend those plans enough. And also a huge shout out and thanks to my friend Denny as a lot of the steel on the base of these came from him. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Him and Fred and Freddie, you guys uh, can't thank you enough for some of the steel that you gave us that we actually used on this. And I think even the anvils on these hammers came from another awesome hammer maker, a guy named John Larson, who gave me the big round blank that I cut in half and actually use for both of these air hammer anvils. So that's a great pedigree to have some uh, John Larson steel in this hammer build. So again, huge thanks to a bunch of great friends, just blessed with the greatest people in my life. And man, check out how beautiful they turned out. I really love to the blue and silver and black linkage color scheme. Uh, really a lot of fun. This hammer obviously needs a die mounted in it still, um, but we did make up, I think, about 10 set of die blanks for this, um, for these two machines. Both machines are set up to receive, you know, any of the dies. They can swap back and forth, same die setup, so that's fun. Um, in upcoming videos, I'm going to get into making some custom tooling. Jared's getting ready to make some die shoes that will mount on these. Um, and we have a couple builds coming up. A really cool console table, Art Deco style console table that we're working on. And an amazing driveway gate build that's getting ready to come up. Uh, if you'd like to see any of the work on those, I hope to do videos on those. As always, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everyone who comments, watches, subscribes. We really do appreciate it. Um, I do this, you know, really to share just, you know, an inside look at the shop. I hope every video that we does inspires or encourages or blesses someone. Anyhow, thanks for being here today. Have a great one, and we'll catch you on the next go-round.